I got to see an actual pair of Sharon Tate's eyelashes. I know, super random, right? Last year I was in Beverly Hills filming a documentary for the Menendez brothers, and I see a familiar face who's also in the documentary, Scott Michaels. Now if you're not familiar with Scott Michaels, he ran the Dearly Departed tours in Los Angeles, California. And I was lucky enough to take one of those tours when they were still going on. And Scott has a huge collection of celebrity memorabilia. I mean, the most craziest random things you can think of, including the car that Jane Mansfield died in. I actually saw it. I even saw things like Gene Wilder's obituary and Mickey Rooney's flowers that were at his funeral. He has all kinds of things. I really miss his tours and his building with all his buildings with all his stuff in it. Okay, let's get back on track. Sharon Tate's eyelashes. While I was there, he was talking to me about some of the things that he added to his collection. Check out the video. I'm gonna go what? <laughs> <laughs> so, we think you like So, um, yeah, these were, uh, isn't that typical? <laughs> um, yeah, but these were Sharon's, uh, a set of Sharon's eyelashes. Wow. Complete with the adhesive. That is so crazy. Did this come out of her house and everything? Yes. Or? Yeah, when they uh, when they cleared out the house, uh, everything went to her parents. Right. And because uh, Roman Polanski, who technically would have got everything, signed it over to to her parents. So he said he wow. didn't want anything. So um, so yeah, it was all in storage till about I don't know, about four years ago when Deborah Tate uh, put it up for auction. We we bought her bras. I mean, I wouldn't. Would you? Your sister's, your dad's sister's uh, underwear. No, that's so. I can't 